In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for perchloric acid plus potassium hydroxide, HClO4 plus KOH. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, the molecular equation, it's already balanced, so we don't have to do that. Next, we need to look at the state for each substance. So this table here lists the common strong acids and strong bases. So as we look down the table, we can see HClO4 it's perchloric acid, that's a strong acid. That means it's going to dissociate or break apart into its ions completely. It's a strong electrolyte. Potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So it's also a strong electrolyte. So we have the states here. Compounds with the perchloride in it, very soluble. I'm going to write AQ, that'll dissolve, dissociate. Water, that's a liquid. So we have our states. Next, we need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So this will give us the complete ionic equation. So these are strong electrolytes, they're aqueous. We said they were strong electrolytes because we have a strong acid, strong base. So let's do that. Hydrogen, group one, one plus charge, and then the whole perchloride ion, that always has a negative charge. So we have H plus, and I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. Then I have ClO4 minus. Potassium group one, the whole hydroxide ion has a negative charge. So we have our potassium ion, plus we have our hydroxide ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. On the product side, we have K plus, that's our potassium ion, plus our perchlorate ion. And then water, that's a liquid. We don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. So this is our complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. In essence, they haven't changed. We're not really interested in them. I can see here in the reactants, I have a perchloride ion and in the products. So I'm just gonna cross that out. See, so I have a potassium ion here and in the products, cross it out. And what remains is the net ionic equation for HClO4 plus KOH. I'll clean it up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for perchloric acid plus potassium hydroxide. You'll notice that charge is balanced. We have a positive and a negative. Cancel out, we have a neutral compound. And mass is conserved as well. We have one, two hydrogens in the reactants, two in the products, one oxygen, one oxygen. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.